but yes, finally, 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 we are back, of course, with another Dokken Bao video, of course. Um, so Debbie did hit number one, of course, for the new Android um, 1718 and Taurus 17 on Lord. Uh, um, rewind. Blah, 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 blah. Um, um, for the new banner right now for JP, um, JP actually hit a new, um, had a new banner, of course, for the LR. Um, we had a new LR, it was Android. It was Android 17 and Android 17 in Team Universe 7 and Golden Freeze on 17. Um, JB did hit number one for that. Um, I know a lot of people like, oh yeah, last year we didn't hit number one. Um, I do want to kind of explain go over that really quick, probably after this though. But yeah, um, some really good reward zones at this time. Um, I kind of gave this video a little bit prepared. Um, some videos I kind of don't go in prepared a little bit though, but I do like to kind of like you know go for and like you know speculate and stuff like that, of course. But yeah, so really good stuff right here though, honestly though. Um, so JB got three stones, six um. Grand Kai, or no, six um, Hercule, Diamond Hercule statues. Um, one Grand Kai of each typing, AGL, yeah, one Grand, type of, grand, one grand Kai each typing. Um, five Rambo, um, you know, six year anniversary tickets. Very good, um, this is five, yes, six year um, Rambo tickets, uh, which was teased in the last year, which I will talk about in a separate video because I did do that last year. I will talk about more this year. Six, six ticket, I'll make another video for that because I haven't gotten all of them yet at the time of recording. And a lot of people are like, oh yeah, we're the six, six ticket. I know last year you guys loved that video. No, I actually did do a video, different video last year. It was about like all the um, you know, tickets with which you basically can get like prizes, like signed PMGs, and signed posters. But I actually did see UI Goku windows looking nice. Like, it's like literally the car in full HD. D. Like it's not like by like Mizawa and like the people who like produce of Doken. But actually that was really solid though, of course. So yeah, of course we got um fifteen um regular um uh, six year tickets, um six year um coins, sixty six year coins, and of course thirty um story keys. Um again this that's actually all really good this year. The prizes this year are actually really great though. Hitting number one for the stores and stuff like that. I think this was iOS. I think last time I did a video for this, I think it was Android, I believe, that hit number one. I was like, oh yeah, the rules got refreshed this time. So yeah, that's actually really good though, and stuff like that. Um so yeah. Um again though, um the banner actually is really bad though, but I think again like the the reason how people hit number one, a lot of people are always still confused by it. Unless you're a new player, which again I, I know I see a lot of new people come to Doken because I do get a lot of comments on that myself. Like, oh wait, how you do this, how you do that, how you awaken this, how you do that. Is this an easy A or not? I kinda do get it guys. I get it, trust me. Um me playing Legends, I still don't even know what to use what they do and stuff like that. I do kinda like having to memorize in my head a little bit here and there, but um Again, like sometimes you know you forget. You're not gonna know everything. Like you know, everybody always makes fun of me for being a Ben 10 geek. Um, but again, I don't know every single thing about Ben 10. I love the show. Like I love it to death. The show I grew up with. I love it. It's part of my childhood. But I'm not gonna know everything on top of my head. Even Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know everything on top of my head, guys. Like I'm not a big old. No, I am big old for Sonic and stuff like that. And Spider Man and Ben 10. Three things I grew up with the most. But yeah. Um, again, not everybody's gonna know everything. You don't think every single thing though. But yeah, um, they are unique and different though with the um, LRs and stuff like that this year. Um, again, I, I got a lot of points in this video I want to talk about though. But yeah, um, last year, um, actually, um, I know Global did hit it last year. Global got number one for the part two banner with um, Brilliant Chile and Limo and Ghost Goku Black. Um, I'm trying to think of it. Um, they Global this is Global's version of it. They did hit number one because only because that realistically only because that um, I'm trying to think of it. They hit they did hit number one because um. You know, um, you know, cool stuff like that. You know, a lot of people always complain like, oh yeah, Goldberg doesn't have a competitive market because you know JB's market is more competitive for the App Store and iOS and stuff like that. Again, you gotta understand, JB's just one country. Global's like you know, like Luxembourg, China, Hong Kong. That's why we take a long time to hit number one. Like maybe like a couple of days or two or three days later, people always kind of forget that though. Unless again, unless you're like a completely new player. Um, I kind of get that, but at the same time, it's like guys, they're not gonna like you know, they're not gonna you know, um. Release it just you know for you know because I think I'm having a couple of times with Android. I think happened twice or three times. Um, we're basically JP. Um, try to think of it. I think it was JP or something like that or Global, whatever, which one. Um, they do like you know they hit number one, but they wait like a couple of days later or you know go you know they hit like iOS one, then we got hit wait for Android and stuff like that because because again guys, got the same takes time though for Global specifically for JP they can hit like number one overnight like in Goku for anniversary they hit number one twice really fast so yeah and that happened last year as well for um, Global and JP as well respectively they did hit number one twice I guess like maybe like a certain income or money they had to get in maybe um you know they like hit number one like one two three times because it, 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 it they hit number one anyway, specifically. You do, you do have to have, um, to think of it. I mean, you had to have, you had to buy stones while the banner is up, I believe. Like, you know, Pike on the Jepa hit number one. Guess why? Because people bought stones during that time. It's not the summon, you know, when the banner is up, you summon, hit number one. No, it's not that. Um, it's basically people being to buy stones and stuff like that to summon on the banner, or you know, cause before the anniversary and stuff like that. They haven't last year as well. Uh, the Goku and Angel Goku and Majin Vegeta banners like sucked, but it hit number one only because that literally, I think it hit number one for Gold Boy, I know specifically because a lot of people were like new players, and of course, all those Goku's and Vegeta's actually are really good. Um, plus, on top of that, though, again, um, 
to think of it. Um, like I said though before, um, yeah, the angels go to much of Virginia. They hit number one because a lot of people were buying stones during that time. Same thing goes for um, what you call it for angel. No, same thing goes for. I'm trying to think of it. Um, for um, I can't think of it right now. It was um, I can't think of it. Um. We have Pakan I can't think of it now. Yeah, like I said before, I think I was going on about I was my train of thought, by the way. Um, so yeah, like I said previously though, a lot of people always go always gonna complain to stuff like that. But guys, this, this stuff takes time. You gotta understand that. Plus how that for global again, like I said, multiple countries, JP only has one. Again, we got to wait to hit multiple countries. Like I said, right there, the big thing for global, um, if you understand, ever since STR Cooler came out around last year on this time ish, around March, um, um, you know, um, he did hit number one because we only got seven stones because we got one country. Even proof right there for global, they did change up the format because France and Hong Kong, you know, we got France, we got seven stones, Hong Kong, we got another 17, we got um, another seven equals 14. So, yeah, for every country global hits, we got every every country global hits. Um, let's see number one in, you know, it hit number one in France, you know, I'm surprised. I think we got number one five times, I think, I believe in the five year and six year anniversary. Um, this so far, I have part one was insane. I recorded so much content. Part two was kind of cooled down. Again, the anniversary has kind of cooled down a lot now, which I'm glad because I got other videos to upload. Um, not as much, but you know, I mean, again, I like to space out the next couple of days. I will upload this probably when I'm done with it and stuff like that. Um, for like the day, have it ready for the day and stuff like that. I could like to have it ready for the day. Um, but yeah, like I said previously though, um, yeah, like there, we hit two countries, we hit two regions, boom, we got stones for that. So that's really it though. So yeah, again, JP just one country, so of course, we you know we get 30 stones like every first time, the next time is like 100 stones. And it's always back and forth and stuff like that. Um, I know the banner right here actually does really suck though. Again, this is the whole banner right here, it sucks. I know all the new LRs are on there, all the LRs are on there, but the banner sucks overall, guys. Please don't something on it. It's horrible. Please just don't do it. It's bad. I mean, the units themselves, like the Golden Freezer, are actually really good. Um, going to do 17, of course, and, you know, Team Universe 7 with 17, of course, the Golden Freezer, I mean, 17, are actually really good. I know when they first came out, it was also leaked as well. Um, that they're going to be separate, like, their SSRs are going to be separate and stuff like that. Um, which does make sense, though, honestly, though, because, um, I'm trying to think of it. Which honestly does make sense, because, you know, with the new, um, with the, um, I don't watch that. Um, <laughs> with the new, um, I can't think of it right now. It was something was new. It was I can't think. Of it. I can't remember what was new. Um, I can't think of it right now. Um, I know it was the um, um. I think it was these guys. I think up the. Yeah, you know, no, because yeah, with the SSRs and stuff like that is different. You know, the TRs are different because you know Angel Gordon Frieza in the seventeen were villains, and then it was confirmed like you know this guy's gonna be an SSR like the Gohan and Piccolo. The Gohan and Piccolo this year and the Frieza and um, Gohan, you know, they're um, both different. You know, the SSRs were different, so yeah, it makes sense to follow in the trend. Yeah, like I said, Gordon Frieza's are good. All the Final Form Frieza's are actually all really good. The GT one, GT one's pretty good. GT one's pretty okay. I have to read that a lot. All the seventeen are bad, kind of. They need use the So the SDR one, he actually is really good. Blue Goku's are amazing. The blue, the AGL Blue Goku's. Really Okay, no LRs are on here, like you said, every LR is gonna be on here now. So yeah, including these guys, again, we have so many LRs, you gotta pull all of them. Um, but yeah, that's a big big big, big part. But then there's some of the banners, you guys have gotta understand. If you're like a new player, these banners suck, you don't want to target these banners because you gotta get the same units over and over and over again that you're gonna get on every banner moving forward. So yeah, it's not really good to some of these banners because you're missing out your value. Um the best banners I wanna say some still something on are these guys right here, the new anniversary banners with the UI Goku. Because they're both I say as I see it more and more and more, they're both honestly really disgusting. I believe like Banner is a little bit better. Again, Goku Banner is amazing as well because there's so many freaking Goku's on here. And plus, you know, the first stuff so like that to me with the Super Saiyan Force. But yeah, they're all honestly pretty good, though, honestly, in my opinion. They're all honestly pretty good. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I kind of just want to target that. So yeah, again, I know the new shiny LRs, you can get them way better in the future. So yeah, and again, the banner just like overall, don't do it. Every LR is on there if you're new and stuff like that. Um, I also want to say though, um, again, for the main LR, the new LR 17, um, Universe 7, again, they're mainly towards purpose of Universe 7, and the more support they've been for that, while Golden Frieza and, um, 17 or mainly just more attack and crit and stuff like that. They're mainly more attack, they're mainly more support. So, again, you can't run on the same team because they share like solid support together, shocking speed, tournament power, first battle, and legendary power, and of course the categories. Um, Rebels Universe 7, Universe of Battle Saga are pretty much going to bounce and blend with each other. That that team is honestly starting to get really fun. Rebels Universe 7 is starting to get a lot better with this anniversary. Plus, on top of that, with Universe of Battle Saga, that team just got a lot better as well. Honestly, that team just got a lot better with this up update as well. The team sounds honestly, for me, there's so many units you can run. There's so many fun new units you can run. The team has just gotten a lot better overall. It's really fun to run, especially on Global. Yeah, I've lost so many units for that category now for Universe of Battle Saga or USS. Um, I like how the banner art for um, the 70s art, you know, the um, cover for the um, Team Universe 7 for Dragon Ball Super. I know we have Krillin's art for the AGL Krillin. Again, I feel like we're going to get art for all of them um, at some point. They're going to all be SSR art, not TR art, sadly though, but yeah. Um, 
Plus on top of that as well, the new rainbow ticket right here um, that I talked about in a couple of videos, it was confirmed right here, the new rainbow um, six year anniversary ticket. We did not know what it was for, um, for the band and stuff like that, but they said in the middle of the month, which at the time it's recording, it is the middle of the month for um, the anniversary for JP and stuff like that. Um, also, the deck is really good though because um, this is for the exit the banner right here. So yeah, um, for, for example, like this banner, like you know how El Globo has like the peel off trove tickets? This is basically the peel off trove for JP, which I am really excited and happy about that JP finally got them essentially. Um, again, they're not going to be sticking around forever, but maybe in the future or something like that, you know, we're going to get like a peel off trove and so on that for JP. I kind of feel like it's confirming that as well, in my opinion though. Um, I feel like they are going to end up bringing that as well, just at, at this point they're going to probably end up bringing it anyway though. So yeah, um, yeah, like I said, like this ticket specifically, like you know, there's like multiple tickets um, for this banner like for example this ticket right here is for the, this banner um then we got six year tickets i think for these bears as well i think they're all shared upon the same banner i think the ticket like specifically itself i think it's for like i think it's just for i think i think it's like all combined into one for each banner separately though it's like give you some on the banner like this banner for example with tickets you're gonna lose out um on it and then it goes for vegeta like give you someone on the banner with those tickets you can probably lose out on it but yeah basically bringing people out trove the jp we'll talk about that in a completely separate video yeah this freeze and all oh, those will go on kind of apart from the other banner i was talking about for the ssrs so yeah gonna go into the video here like i said really good stuff though essentially people are coming to jp so oh, that's really good though again that's a whole rainbow ticket again um Getting, I think it's just you get it as you just like you know play the anniversary just doing missions and stuff like that. And I'll make a whole video for that um after this right after this. I was know really really good though honestly though I'm sorry I was gonna go down here so yeah really really good stuff though for his anniversary so far it's starting to be more like four year four year had a lot of stuff again I'll make a whole overall video for this stuff I do it every year I did randomly for four year for global then I was like a lot of people enjoyed it and liked it I did it for the download celebration like last year in 2019 I think I did one I did one for 2020 I never uploaded the video I forgot about that I was like oh crap. I forgot about that. I completely forgot about that. So yeah, gonna go into video here. Like I said, the new rainbow ticket is basically it'll be a trove ticket. You know, I think not only something on a banner, but I think it's just there for every banner. But um, again, use it for these guys because you're gonna get way more value. You're gonna basically essentially get these guys for free. Like you can get you like Goku for free, Buhan, Vegeta for his banner. You can get him for free and stuff like that. Um, again, don't use it on this banner because you're gonna just pull crap. So yeah, um, that's the rainbow ticket. It's for essentially again, we waited for a long time. It was worth it. It's basically, you know, pull up trove tickets brought to JP, which I'm not mad about. I'm glad again. Not goes complain about Kobo not catching up on JP and stuff like that. You know, JP getting stuff Kobo does and stuff like that. You know, Kobo getting categories earlier than JP did, you know, with Goku family, you know, giant eight power with Dark Mode heroes. But yeah, that's all structure and stuff like that. Gonna go ahead and end the video here for sure. So yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All cool again though. Stay safe, wash your hands, God bless you all. If you ever go if you're planning to always go out eating or whatever, always make sure to wear a mask and you take it off after when you start eating. And on top of that, um, you know, if you you know go to some toilet paper or hand sanitizer, all that, I'm joking though. Don't do it, don't reference this video, please. So yeah, what you guys think though, of course, about this. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, rainbow ticket, I'm gonna talk about that and put this up a video for it. Um, right after this. Um, yeah, right after these messages. Ding! I'm kidding though. So yeah, gonna go in here for sure. See, so, yeah. I talked about enough. They're both really good. Yeah, see you guys later though. Can though? It's out.